I'm Andre Knott, and on my new podcast, Brownstown, I'm chronicling the sometimes sad but always hilarious story of the last 20 years of Cleveland Browns dysfunction. With the voices of Jim Donovan, Brady Quinn, Tim Couch, Romeo Cornell, Josh Cribbs, TJ Ward, Phil Savage, and many more, we'll track how unbelievably bad decisions and bad luck kept this team down for way too long. So join us as we go tailgating in the Muni lot and diving deep into the dog pound. You're going to Brownstown. How do you know this? That's what I do. I drink and I know things. Truth is, I am Iron Man. Wherever I go, he goes. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. And here we go. What's up, everyone? I'm Zach Williamson, here with Luke Goosens and Ross Cutsforth. Today we're talking the Spider-Man trailer and also the Suicide Squad. No, but he said, if you've seen Endgame, don't watch this. Yeah. I feel like there's something No, if you've seen Endgame, we were. Or no, if you if haven't. You've seen if you seen Spider-Man. If you haven't seen Endgame, don't watch this trailer. Oh, yeah. That's oh, probably. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But everyone knows Spider-Man was going to live. So it's just. Yeah, I don't know. They They put that at the beginning of the trailer. I didn't even notice that. You didn't notice it? Well, now everyone knows for sure he's going to live. Zach, come Dude, on. Dude, there was a whole other Spider-Man movie that came out. What <laughs> Damn, you we need, about? A spoil- <laughs> like- we need a spoiler alert for the spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, fuck, if you guys didn't, you know, if anyone didn't see Far From Home, then fucking, yeah, don't watch that trailer. <laughs> Why does the trailer have, like, weird-ass subtitles on it? Or one version does? Dude, I'm thinking because, all right, here's marketing brain going down here that things with subtitles get way more views. Yeah, but also some people could get annoyed and go to a video without subtitles. Well, they put on YouTube the version without. So on Twitter, though, they do this. And they did also do a version without it, I think. But the main one, I kind of like the subtitles. They all looked Spider-Man-y and stuff. I thought it was decent marketing. The cool thing about the subtitles, I thought, was uh, the colors and stuff, like when certain words were said. Yeah, bro. I thought it was really good. It made me think that, like, shit, that's what we should be doing for our subtitles for our for our shows. We should put way more production behind our stuff. That'd be tight. Wait, Luke, what second marker are you at? Yeah, let him watch it. He, yeah, he's your dark 30. We all should watch this. Oh, I've seen it, like, 20 times, my friend. I'm, I'm watching <laughs> it again. Watch it again, Zach. All right, bet. Black suit looks sick. Peter Parker's and some milf. What I like about this trailer is that it feels like a a Doctor Strange movie with just Spider Man in it, but somehow it's just focused on Spidey with all these fucking random Marvel villains, Spidey yeah. villains from past movies and shit. Yeah, that's legit, dude. It teased so many. That's what I was saying. This is such a good combo, Doctor Strange and Spider Man. I think their powers visually will look fucking sick. <laughs> together yeah, it doesn't look like they're gonna be teaming up though dude it kind of looks like fucking strange gets pissed at spidey him. probably does something fucking stupid and then yeah. dr strange well they they both do something stupid tampering with time again you guys are fucking idiots yeah also why would he listen to a kid wait i was i was saying so i'm thinking like this is way out of character for dr strange right this is the same guy that said I would be fine with you dying as long as it means the flow of time will be tampered with when he was talking to Tony Stark. And like, that's his whole thing is he's supposed to protect yeah, the order of time. Yeah, but he was only seeing, in that situation, he was only seeing how to beat Thanos and come back to, I don't think he was looking even mm, past. No. What the OG about? Doctor Strange? The Ancient One tasked him with the order to protect time. Yeah, bro, but dude, he's like a wild card Sorcerer Supreme, you know, even if he is, if he is or isn't the Sorcerer Supreme, but he's like a wild card in all this, man. Like this guy would go outside the box to try to do shit. When you fought Dormammu or whatever. Yeah, that's true. But that's a way, those are way different stakes. Do you think he would do that just for Peter Parker to protect his identity? I don't know, bro. Maybe he's trying to figure out if there's a way to even, if there's a way to really even like control that because Wanda's doing crazy shit. You got Loki doing some fucked up weird multiverse shit. Like there's multiverse shit happening everywhere. And he's like, I don't know, maybe we should just experiment and see if we can control this somehow. Because 
they're going to have to shut it all down somehow and the story i feel not this movie but like mm-hmm. in the next movie i definitely feel like spider-man is going to be in the next doctor strange movie now because in his contract he had three spider-man movies and then another when they did the renegotiations or whatever you know last year and then they rewrote the whole plot and said yo we want fucking spider-verse and probably all this other shit they also negotiated that he would show up in one more marvel movie before his contract's done tom holland yeah, so I'm thinking it's going to be Doctor Strange. That's going to be his last one. And then maybe they, maybe he fucking dies, dude. That'd be crazy. But then you just bring him back because multiverse. <laughs> dies for real, but not for real again. Uh, maybe know. like this version dies of him. I don't know. Okay, fair. Or he jumps yeah. into the multiverse and goes to another universe. I get he, if he wanted to in this one, he's trying to go to a different universe, basically, where he doesn't, no one knows who he is. Yeah. Yo, there were so many shots at the end, like last minute of this trailer, just constant, like back to back to back, just dope shots. Dude, they teased so many villains. There was like, yeah. <laughs> they teased that lizard fucker again. That villain was trash though. Was that the shadowy figure behind Peter? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's what I was wondering about. I Okay, so that... That's lizard. It looked like he was in jail, maybe, or he, I don't know, dude. It looked like a prison cell, kind of. Maybe he broke out. I don't know. Oh, he's fucking around in some shadows. He had that black suit on, too, in like a scene. So there's going to be, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen in this movie. <laughs> like, why, is, why does he have to have three different suits, you know? What if they're all just different versions of him? Different versions of Tom Holland, Spider Man? No, I'm fucking talking on my ass. I'm just thinking of Loki now and all that, all those, yeah. all those things. It'd be interesting. Uh, it's going to be the this same, is- same dude. Okay, uh, this is the thing about Loki, though. How does Loki affect everything else since it technically took place outside of time? I mean, bro, they're fucking with the main timeline, too. True, but when does it when does it start affecting everything else? Like, right, aw- right away, right now? Is it slowly develop over you time? You don't know, bro. That's the whole fucking point of it. Yeah. Bro, the yeah. only way they're going to explain that is if they close... The whole thing with Loki. Loki's going to be its own little multiverse arc, and then you close that. Unless it all connects to multiverse and madness somehow. There's just like all these ways that the multiverse are, is opening right now. It's kind of a lot going on. Yeah. I, I think I don't think it'll be contained arc like that. With just within Loki, I think it's setting up for the whole phase. It might be a contained arc within the phase, so. though. <laughs> like phase four, the multiverse stuff. Oh yeah, I think so. I feel like that's. I feel like this is going to be that the multiverse is really going to get wrapped up. But then maybe there'll be like another parallel universe, and they'll start developing that, which could be like the Sony verse is one a parallel universe of all this, and then another universe, blah blah blah. Who knows? Fox or the X Men universe, <laughs> X Men with Fantastic and shit. Yeah, yeah, that would kind of suck. Uh, but you could cross them over anytime you want. Yeah, you can just cross them over. You have a bigger yeah. fucking crossover event. Yeah. Right? Exactly. That'd be sick. Yeah, but also I don't did know. you see what did you see what Kevin Feige said about DC MCU crossover? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's you know, I mean like <laughs> he's trolling. What do you say? He said never say never. But you well, don't want to yeah. just say no. Cause think about yeah, watch that, you know, that someday. Yeah. Oh yeah. I wouldn't say no either. DC and, and Marvel had a joint company in the 90s for their comics, didn't they? Amalgam. Yeah. So uh, that, that's my, yeah. So that was a company that they shared or they share. It might still technically be a thing. Hmm. So, yeah, but I don't think you close that door, Ross, because think about it. You're doing the fucking multiverse already. Then what's the next step after that? Then what's even the next step after that? You just have this door, then they're like, all right, well, maybe we can fucking do that. Years and years from now, when we have nothing else left to do. Yeah, maybe like yeah. Uh, just all fictional characters crossover. Is that what you're saying? Like no, Godzilla, I'm just talking DC and no, Neo, fuck, no, dude. I'm, MCU, talking, D- I'm talking DC and Marvel. That's it. Fuck all that other shit. No way. James Bond. I'm saying like Would you like to see James Avengers. Bond? Would you like to see James Bond in an MCU versus the no, DC movie? No, no, no. Fuck no. He gets <laughs> Just randomly show up. He's a badass, but what's he gonna do against Superman? Are you kidding me? I guess you could shoot him with a fucking damn dude. The DC, the DCU makes makes Superman look like he's just not invincible, dude. Well, yeah, yeah, 
How many times? How many times does he die? Just once, right? He died in DC in the in the DCU and came back, no problem. And then apparently he got he was in the ICU again because he got shot in the chest. Yeah. Okay. Forgot about that line. <laughs> Fuck. This is fucking twice already. You just have to get a little bit of kryptonite. All you need is kryptonite. Yeah. I'm calling up some aliens and saying, dude, bring this in. We got to get rid of this guy. Right. But kryptonite is probably so hard to get your hands on. I, I mean, like. how, did, like, how, how is it tough. acquired? I don't know. I don't know. But fucking Superman in that vision in that Justice League movie was about to get controlled by Dark Side. So why not just put him out? If you already know that that's that shit's going to happen. Yeah. Well, if you're in that universe, right? Is that I what you're saying? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I mean, what other universe are we talking about? Sorry. I thought you were saying if like Superman just existed in our world. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know, man. Well, shit, bro. Do we have? Is that a real thing? Kryptonite? Mm, crypt? No. There's an element. I think it's called Krypton. Or is it? Wait, what is it called? Is it the same shit or is it like <laughs> Klingon? No, it's it's very different. Okay, then we're fucked. I mean, Superman would enslave us. Shit, dude. Superman ain't <laughs> getting me. Probably. Superman ain't getting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd yeah. run us. <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, you'd be like Billy Butcher from the boys. Yeah, dude, right? Yeah. I'd be shooting like <laughs> yeah. I'd be shooting fucking Jeff Bezos' dildo rocket at him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be super effective. Facts, man. That guy could be Lex Luthor for real. Real yeah. life one Le- someday. Lex Luthor with a lazy eye. Superman's looking at him. He's like, oh, which one do I look at? I, which, which one's the one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking eh? <laughs> really, it's really it's so he can see everything that's going on around him, you know. Yeah, bro, he got. Eyes you think he just him. developed that? Like he was like, I need this trait for to be the CEO of this company. Bro, he's got so much fucking money, he could probably get that fixed easy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He developed it on purpose, so he's like, I can watch more, I can oversee more things. Oh, no, I'm saying he's probably developing <laughs> tech right now to try to fix lazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really so he can multitask one eye's on his phone the other eye's looking right yeah. at you yeah and yeah <laughs> fucking a how we get so uh how we get on know. DC anyway too <laughs> yeah, lazy eyed like <laughs> shit why did he switch suits yeah I don't know yeah dude what, they the always do it they've been going extra with Spidey not my Toby Maguire bro you'd never yeah, yeah. rock in the same suit he's like rebuilt a, that same fucking <laughs> piece of shit suit three or four times he's like a demon though. our boy was running yeah. around in cloth man it's like nylon though it's it's pretty nylon and spandex probably yeah but dude if you get smashed into a fucking <laughs> building by a tentacle arm from Doc Ock come on yeah. dude, that shit's gonna hurt Maybe a little bit, but he's a spider. He's an exoskeleton and shit. Yeah, but he was like a True. real spider, right? He had the actual web out of his hand. And he had the little and the, on his fingers. The hairs. Yeah, bro. He was like a real spider. So he could exactly. But imagine him with a imagine him with a Tom Holland Spidey suit, man. Fucking he'd be unfazed oh, by all this over. shit. Just fire an explosion in his face. Easy. I, I don't think it worked because his, the little hairs couldn't go through the fabric and uh, he couldn't shoot the things out of the suit. How does Tom Holland do it? Does he have that too? Yeah, how does Tom Holland do it? I think it just kind of glossed I over I thought that. he has a thingy. Tom, Tom Holland has no, the wrist shit, but how does he, does he like... They cling to surfaces. Yeah, is that him or is that his like super, I don't know. He uses strength, just grip. I thought he could actually touch and he has that sort of spider ability. He's sticky. We need to look this up. This is not good. We'll look like fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> now that Tony's dead, where does he get his tech from? He got the I don't know. He got the Tony tech. He got the fucking insurance. Tony was dropping space computers for him and shit, man. He got set up. He set up for True. life. <laughs> <laughs> shit, dude. He's on that Tony Trust Fund. Yeah, exactly. You're on the Tony Trust Fund. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I was trying to fucking think of. Thank you. <laughs> We're so good. We finished each other's jokes. Ross, let me know what you find on that. Because I can't remember. Wait, Dude, I watched that Andrew Garfield second one recently because it was playing at the gym. Do you want me to? Oh, the second one? Andrew Garfield straight up killed Emma Stone. That yeah. guy must have been going through some serious trauma after that. Snap okay. like a fucking... Well, Andrew Garfield Garfield didn't kill Emma Stone. 
Bro, just I mean, I know he killed uh, Luke. Uh, sorry, okay, let me Peter clarify. Luke, have you seen Amazing Spider-Man Two? The second one with oh, the second one, no, with uh, yeah, with Andrew Garfield. No, I haven't seen it. So we got like knockoff Green Goblin, worst Green yeah. Goblin ever. Blows up this building, and so his girl, for some reason, is up for whatever reason. He brought her around everywhere, like she was a superhuman <laughs> or something. <laughs> no, I think no. Gwen, Gwen Stacy followed followed him. Oh yeah, I'd be like stringing her up on the wall if she kept trying to follow me. He did. Sorry, he dude. literally he literally webbed her to a car and then she tore off a piece of metal and cut herself out and came. Damn, bro. Well, not entirely yeah. your fault then, my guy. Yeah, yeah. You know? she's an idiot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I just wanted to set the the facts straight here. Bro, dude, he but look, so he like shoots this this web down and she's falling through this massive building. I don't even remember what the fuck kind of building it was like a well or something or a light. I don't know what the fuck it was, but she's falling through it and there's random shit all falling down next to her. And he catches her at the very end before she hits the ground, but he catches her right here, bro. So her body just goes like yeah. Everything breaks, dude. Spine, just whiplashes. <laughs> whiplashes the fuck out of her. Dead. Where was he supposed to get her? I don't know, bro. I mean, he might. Yeah. It was fucked. Yeah. That's yeah. Not, <laughs> that's on her. Unfortunate, man. Unless he could somehow shoot two fucking webs at once. I don't even know, man. He would have had to shoot webs all at the bottom to maybe catch all that yeah. shit on the ground. And so, like, to soften the landing. Yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty. They were in a clock tower, and the spring or the gears of the clock were all unwinding, and he was holding them to keep the clock together. And then it all burst out in the same second, and then she started falling. Yeah, bro, something like that. But it was just fucked situation, like damsel in distress situation. I was yeah. like, God, she's screwed, you know? <laughs> Someone get this girl a suit. <laughs> she's screwed. Yeah. So, I don't know, how the fuck we even talk about? Uh, that's on topic, Spider-Man shit. Yeah. So, well, we could talk about who they teased. So, we got, we got the lizard guy. We got Sandman. We yes. got... There's another fucker. Oh, Electro, Jamie Foxx coming back for sure. We what? got Willem Dafoe coming back as. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, wait, yeah, was... Jamie Foxx. I watched the wrong one, homeboy. <laughs> no, they so they tease like his electrical bullshit. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he's he was like reported too, and he kind of leaked it himself by confirming he was kind of an idiot when all that news broke. He's like, "Fuck yeah, coming back as Electro," and then ten minutes later, deleted all the posts. <laughs> I clicked the Far From Home trailer and I watched 30 seconds of it and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I was like, oh, I'm watching Far From Home. <laughs> You're like, wait, I think I've seen this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's why I was asking that dumbass question. Oh, word. Yeah, we'll watch it again if you need. Just just speak to us as you're watching it. Uh, yeah, I'm rewatching yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> Luke, Luke watched the wrong fucking... <laughs> Love it, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> You're probably just just like, bro, I don't remember that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> this trailer was dope, though, Luke. It was, it was good. I'm like, what? We already know all this. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what. That's why I had the end game warning and shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ross, my favorite shit is how people are trying to speculate that saying that Tobey Maguire is replacing. There's scenes where Tom Holland's digitally inserted where it's Tobey Maguire, and I'm like, bro, you people need to just relax and like. <laughs> Let it just let it happen. We know those fools are going to be in the movie. They're not going to be yeah. in the movie until the end, though, bro. They're going to come fucking swoop our boy out, save him. Yeah, that's I was going to bring that up too. I feel like there's probably some s scenes or some shots in this trailer that have certain characters that are digitally removed or in inserted. Oh, maybe, but there, there ain't no way that they're going to like be in the entire movie, you know, because they still want this to be about Tom Holland's Spider Man. Yeah. It could not even be the same ones. True. I kind of have the vibe that they're going to be either variants. They're going to be like variants of this universe. Oh, but just, okay. But then just use their, the, I don't the know, same though, actors. Dude, actually, actually, I don't know because it's supposedly going to be the same Doc Ock continuation. Not supposedly. Alfred Marina straight up said that like a fucking yeah, idiot. I, I was going to say, he, <laughs> he is the one that leaked a ton of shit. Dude, he was definitely the best he, out of the original... Spidey, he was definitely the best villain. He was a good character. He was evil, but he was influenced by the machine, you know? But then he, he sort of figured it out in the end. So that's why I'm like, okay, if this is a continuation, what could that possibly mean? Could that mean that maybe his tentacles re-control his brain or took back control or some shit, you know? Yeah, or, yeah. 
I don't know. Could be a variant as well. But for it to make sense where he falls in that fucking hole, like sacrifices his life to end his tech and yeah. his machine, and then he pops out and now he's a fucking villain and it's the same guy, it has to be that they somehow took control of him. He's like a cyborg. Well, yeah, I guess that's one way you could go with it. But you could, I mean, you could also just make him a variant of that same universe, right? But bro, they straight up said that, he straight up said that that's, he's like, I fall in this fucking hole. And then I'm alive again, and it's the same dude. He's like, this is a, this is basically connected to Spider-Man too. So that's why I was just saying that because remember we were talking about the variants of like maybe what if Tobey Maguire was a variant, but then I'm like, wait, if that actual Doc Ock is going to be the same one, then it's probably going to be the same Spidey somehow. No, I feel like that's probably more the case with Green Goblin because Green Goblin got <laughs> he got fucked up in that first movie, yeah, so yeah. he has to be a variant of. The one you're talking about, yes, of that universe. Yeah, he got diced. Bro got gutted. He got skewered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so, yeah, variant, I, don't, I don't think he's coming back. I can see that being a variant. I'm going to just say straight up, I think that's not the case with him. But some of these other ones, maybe too. Wait, Sandman went away at the end of Spider-Man 3. He just flew off into the sky, kind of. <laughs> yeah, so he could be alive. It could be the same one. Definitely. Yeah. Sandman was more of like a gray character, though. True. Sandman was honestly one of the be better parts about Spider-Man 3. What if Sandman teams up with Spider-Man somehow, and that's why Doctor Strange is like, bro, Ooh. fuck this. I'm taking, I'm taking control of the situation. He, like, astro projects Spider-Man for some reason, dude. Yeah, there is. A, I was. Yeah, there's a lot of scenes in here where... He's holding something, too. He's, Spidey's holding something in his hand. Ooh, okay, I didn't see that. It looks like a space box or some shit. It looks like a Doctor Strange box. Go look, go look at that. Luke, oh, you know okay, what this I've, shit seen is? That. I've seen that. I didn't even catch that, dog. It's only because I watched this so many times. Also, Doctor Strange's place is just covered in snow. I was gonna ask, what's yeah, going did they on not there? fix that hole? They they had to have fixed the hole. They have fucking magic. There's no way they didn't fix the hole. Plus, that was that was way back. Yeah, and what's his name was alive still. It's at two twenty two. Two twenty two. 222. Or maybe 221. Okay, word. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Wait, wh which part? Bro, he's, yeah, there's like some there's sort of box in Pete's, in Peter Parker's hand there. I'm going to it. Plus, doesn't, that Doctor Strange has like a, uh, what's that thing around his oh, chest? Doesn't that, does, that doesn't exist anymore, right, Ross? The Eye of Agamotto? Didn't that, didn't he have to use that on Dermot? What the fuck? I can't remember anymore. Well, yeah, but he didn't have to destroy it to defeat Dormammu. But he did take the time stone out of the eye, which was basically the power source of the eye. Oh, so he, could, then, just be, he could just be blinged out right now for no reason. Yeah. yeah. Looks dope <laughs> on his up. cape. Yeah, or he somehow recovered a time stone. Yeah, or it's a different Doctor Strange. Fuck Ooh. Ooh. Variant. A variant Doctor Strange? Oh, I don't fuck. know, man. So there's a part where there's no audio. Or there's like, sorry, where it's someone says, be careful what you wish for for Peter Parker. That sounds like Doctor Strange to me, but he sounds fucking, he sounds pissed. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He sounds menacing. <laughs> yeah. Like there's some parts in this trailer where Doctor Strange looks like he's like running after Spider-Man or just saying semi-antagonistic well, stuff to, to him. <laughs> astral projecting him right here. Like, <laughs> yeah. So that's a, that's a, that's a flex on him right there, bro. Yeah. I, I don't know why they're fighting. I don't know, man. Yeah. It feels like maybe maybe what's happening, I, I responded to a follower earlier today on this, was that maybe what's going on is that we know it didn't work directly. It seems like it didn't work properly because Spider-Man wouldn't shut up during the rich during the thing. And now, how does that affect the spell, though, too? Like, what the fuck? I don't know, bro. You talking? It, you're fucking with the multiverse, man. You got to be zoned in, dude. You know how you sit there? I mean, you sit there and play Apex or something. You got to be zoning. <laughs> Imagine yeah. doing a spell that could do a spell that could, you know, ruin time as we know it. Yeah, but then I would be like, hey, Peter, get the fuck out of here. I got to have complete focus. <laughs> but he's got to be in the spell. He's got to be in the. Oh, can, okay. He's got to be in there. Maybe right? like make sure he can't talk. Do some kind of spell that seals his mouth shut. Yeah. And so maybe what's happening is that sort of his old reality is seeping back in. He's trying to keep up this facade or whatever, this fucking other universe or whatever you would call it. Yeah. Also, we're, 
That's TVA. A, Where the fuck is the TVA? Wouldn't they be pulling up on Doctor Strange? <laughs> what? No, no, Zach. I feel like you. Still, it only gets pruned if it varies from the sacred timeline specifically. But this, so the sacred timeline is whatever the fuck they say it is. I guess yeah. So they're saying that, bro, fucking open up the multiverse, yeah. even though we shut down the multiverse. But whatever, right? <laughs> I yeah. guess so. <laughs> All right, fucking Kang. Idiot. They're just fa- they're just straight up fascist. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, okay, you wouldn't see this as being a massive threat to your sacred timeline. This dude just changing timelines. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, whatever the MCU wants to make them do, I guess is that, that's what maybe the do. TVA is debunked by the or it isn't a thing anymore by when this happens. Yeah, I feel like at this point, t- the TVA is just a storytelling device to just to explain any. Any way they want to take the story, be like, oh, yeah, this is just where the TVA wanted it to go, you know? Yeah, but what I was saying is, like, maybe they don't exist at some point anymore, and then so that's why this can open up and these can, things can happen. I don't know. It's not It's not too early to... They could still explain all that away, I think. Yeah. You know, like, when Kang was like, I don't know what's going to happen after this, this would be something that would happen after that. Okay, so it's after that, the singularity point or whatever it's called. Yeah, whatever the fuck point in time that is. Yeah. Where whatever time it day, we don't even need to like. You, you, we both you know, we both know, what we, we know. Mean, what we mean now. Yeah, yeah. Anything else on this on this this little trailer? I was pretty hyped, man. This actually made me want to go back to the movies. This is the oh, first same. movie where I'm okay. Yeah, I really like fucking Spider Man, Doctor Strange. Pretty cool the concepts. Interesting. We're probably gonna get Toby. I mean, at this point, we're getting fucking yeah. Toby and Andrew Garfield and this sh- kind of sick. I'm into it. Yeah, it's pretty dope. All three actors that have played Spider Man. Have all been pretty good too. I feel like they're all they've all been solid. Best part of the movie is gonna be when they're all teaming up and then they're just looking at each other. He's like, yeah. bro, like you actually shoot webs. That's insane, dude. Like, I got this fucking device, and then they're like comparing their devices. Yeah. yeah. And You're then Tom Holland spider. just got this dope suit. You know, he's got like the Tony Stark suits. Man, they're gonna be jealous. Yeah. Oh, that's also another thing is they've slowly progressed their tech throughout this different Spider Man. Because Toby had nothing on his suit. It was just yeah, he's just a guy in a suit. Yeah, that's a suit. <laughs> that shit and got then, lit up many times in those movies. Oh, oh yeah. Until he got the Venom suit, man. That that was the real suit. The Venom suit itself was fucking tight. Very, very nice. Yeah. Venom in the movie, not not that great. Oh yeah, trash. But we don't <laughs> think we <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Bottom the tier suit, Marvel villain for sure. Marvel iteration. Worse than the twenty nine percent. Rotten Tomato Venom of 2018. Yeah, fuck, yeah way worse. Dude. Tom, <laughs> Tony, like, uh, sorry, Tom Hardy over that fool any day for that kind of role. Topher Grace, come on. And it actually looked like Venom. Venom's like a big goofball idiot. I, I was True. into that. That part was fine. Okay, so I know you saw I tweeted about Mephisto. I, I don't think it's going to be Mephisto. I think that's a red herring. But there are definitely uh, ties to a Mephisto storyline from the comics in this. Oh, this is a this is definitely an adaptation of that storyline, right? So is it called One More Tomorrow or something like that? That's one ver- so there's like, you know, there's a lot there's the comic and then there's like a sequel to it which is like One More Day. But they're connected, yeah. you know. They're all in that series that ends with I think it ends with One More Day. Here, let me look up the name of it. Oh, wait. wait. I think it's just one more day. Yeah, but even what you were saying was right, though. There's a, there's another comic before it that's in the same... It's like in the series, but it has a different name. So, R- Luke, in One More Day, it's the so- story about how everyone finds out Peter Parker's identity because of Civil War. He seeks out Doctor Strange to basically like travel back in time because also at the same time, Aunt May gets shot or she's like about to fucking die. So he's trying to travel yeah. back in time because all that happened because of his identity and all of his, everyone that he loves is at risk. And then Doctor Strange can't do it. He fucking tries to do some, Spidey tries to do some magic and it doesn't work. And then he ends up making a deal with Mephisto, Tom Holland, or sorry, not Tom Holland, but Peter Parker does. And his wife even agrees to it, MJ, that they will, for some reason, all fucking Mephisto wants is, yeah, I just want you guys to forget about your marriage or erase yeah. your marriage. So what a deviant. The fuck? I guess just a cunt. And then on top of that, it will erase all the history of everyone knowing him, which is what he wants. Hmm. And MJ agreed to do it. So they're definitely adapting that in a way. 
Well, yeah, for sure. Doctor Strange is in that storyline. Then they just added in this multiverse aspect of it, super multiverse yeah. aspect of it. So I think there was a multiverse aspect in that one too, because I think that somehow that storyline was ending two other iterations of Spider-Man that were going on. Because at one point there was three different Spider-Man comics that were all going on. And so they- Scarlet Spider one, was that one? Ah, uh, bro, I don't fucking remember, dude. But they all, they basically ended for this- iteration to continue because they wanted to refresh it basically and say, yo, let's go from like the start because uh, if we want to do Spider-Man for another 20 years. Anyway, storyline was panned, so I don't think they're going to directly fucking do that story, but there's definitely some influence in that and like, yeah, it could be a fake out that like Doctor Strange is a villain, you know, but dude, they made his voice so menacing. That could totally be a fake out. You're right. I think they did do some chopping it up with the audio in this too. Yeah, 100%. For certain parts, yeah, they... Like, made the audio a little... It could be possibly misleading. Dude, parts. it could be Mephisto, though, because we did know that originally Nightmare was going to be the villain in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Like, they announced that, but that was before they had... That was when they had a different director. That was before Sam Raimi was brought in. So, it could be Nightmare. It could be they're alluding to... Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare. Uh, what's his name? Fucking Mephisto. <laughs> Mephisto. I don't know if I want to buy into that. I got a fucking bamboozled no. on that shit, man. Yeah, never again. I'm burnt. I got burnt. <laughs> Bro, I mean, I'm the one who lost money. <laughs> did you, did I thought I lost it. Oh, I lost it to Luke. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting. It's possible. I feel like it's probably going to be something different than that, dude. I agree. Doctor Strange probably going to be like, damn, I really fucked this shit up. Now we got to make this right, you know? And then Peter's not wanting to do that. And so maybe that's how they're conflicted against each other. Because it seems like they're setting up Doctor Strange versus Spider-Man somehow in this. Which would be very cool to watch. Yeah, I don't know how all the villains are going to play in or if there's there's probably like a hidden villain or two that we don't know about yet. We'll see. I honestly like your theory about doc this could be a Doctor Strange variant the most. I feel like that makes sense with just what happened in the MCU with Loki. But if he's a variant dude, then fucking, or he's just gonna like, I don't know. <laughs> like it's too like, oh, is this, is this guy gonna be a variant? Is this, I don't know. I feel like it's just. Yeah, then it's like, well, where's the real Doctor Strange exactly. too? It's just too much. The real Doctor Strange is meaningless at that point. There is no real Doctor Strange. I think I would rather it be that Doctor Strange is possessed or some shit than. Possessed, yeah. And it's a variant. I feel like there could be a variant in the story, but then there's like two Doctor Stranges is more what I'd be thinking. So you'd rather have them go deeper into like the magic side rather than like well, the dude, multiverse. I don't really understand what's the difference anymore, right? Like apparently magic can make the fucking multiverse. You can just, even what the TVA has, that's probably True. just all magic. I mean, it is. It's like dope tech slash magic, I guess. Is, cause Kang's, Wait, does Kang have no. magic or he has, he has tech? He's like no a tech, tech. guy. Yeah, because okay. um, Mobius says that. He said there's no magic. Right, okay, yeah, there's no magic. So we got magic that can make the multiverse. Bro, that would make Doctor Strange a vil like enemy number one of uh, of the TV. The TV yeah, maybe he's that powerful. Yeah, man, who fucking knows, dude? I, I feel like they just were making these, these projects, these first couple, and then now they're like, all right, you know, we are doing all this random shit with the multiverse. Let's sit down and try to figure this out. <laughs> If they just recently had meetings on how the yeah. multiverse is going to work. How much do you guys think this movie is going to make? Okay, so here's a, here's a fun stat. It's about to pass on Twitter alone. Just yeah. if just comparing Twitter for Endgame, it's going to get more views than Endgame did on Twitter specifically. But Endgame had about 300 million views. And like we will never know how much of that was also paid marketing or anything like that. Yeah. But 300 million views in 24 hours is massive. Yeah. That's insane. And I'm sure fans are sitting there just watching it, running <laughs> it back. And I bet that's the same thing that's happening with this. So I don't know, dude. We haven't seen anything make a billion this year. Like, it's going to be tough to make even a billion. The last Spider-Man movie made a billion. That was the first yeah. Spider-Man movie to make a billion dollars. So I'm, this is like the end game for Spider-Man with bringing all these other Spider-Men in it. But fuck, dude, who knows? They're delaying movies still. Like, they just delayed Venom. So you think they might they might delay Spider Man? I'm thinking this could be the riskiest movie ever, Ross. Oh, okay, okay. So you think they they will delay it? No, I'm saying they. I'm thinking they might just do it and see what. Oh, fucking okay, happens. that's what you're saying. Okay, because I think they're probably they're probably hoping that by this time most theaters are going to have vaccine proof things or. Oh yeah, because the 
uh, Pfizer just got FDA approval. So, um, yeah, a lot of places can start having like vaccine mandates because of the approval. Yeah, they're probably hoping for that kind of stuff. They're probably thinking that like, okay, that yeah. shit isn't going to be in place by the time Venom comes out. So let's punt that and like the marketing. We can just use Spider-Man to hella market Venom, which and Venom's definitely not going to be connected to this yet because they're trying to just milk that until they need to fucking combine all this stuff. And this one, dude, I don't know. Even a billion dollars would be insane, right? Because we there hasn't been anything that's been close to a billion really. I guess, fat, what was that really? shitty movie? Fast 9? What did they get? I don't know. <laughs> what did they get? Luke, do you know? I have no goddamn clue. Right. Oh, also, I looked up how Tom Holland Spider-Man sticks to surfaces. This is according to a Screen Rant article that sources mar- several Marvel handbooks. Handbooks, but it says, okay. <laughs> when the radioactive spider bit Peter, it imbued him with the ability to control the electrostatic reaction between his body and any surface on an interatomic level. So he's bonding with objects through like molecular bonds. <laughs> what? Huh. What the fuck? So it's very science-y, whereas yeah. Spider-Man, or sorry, I'm Toby's hairy. like a fucking spider. <laughs> I am like hairy, man. Nasty little fingers that put, you know, yeah. nasty little hairs. You know Bro, what? Imagine, I imagine that fool touching you, man. Yeah. Right? I feel like a cat tongue or something. Or hurt. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it might hurt, dude. I always thought, like, imagine if he rubbed his hand over your arm, just dragged his finger. Yeah, Like, that would dude. cut the fuck out of you. Potentially. Yeah, Maybe just well, that's, that's an interesting like explanation. I like that. I think that makes sense. Major Garfield's, I can't remember. Was he sticky? Uh, he's, yeah, he was sticky. I don't know how he, I, yeah, I don't know. But he used actual web shooters that he made. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So he was like smarter than probably both. <laughs> probably, <laughs> he he made like actual web shooters, you know? That's pretty fucking and, dope tech, man. He made them himself, yeah, with just random shit. What did uh, Tom Holland do originally? I can't remember. Oh, he he also made his own. Try, true, shoes. okay. We got to give him some credit. He's a pretty smart kid, too. Yeah. Toby was just like, I'm a spider. <laughs> I'm a, I got a <laughs> fucking bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do shit after that. Yeah. So, anyway, fellas, it's exciting. This is probably the biggest movie we're going to cover in a while. Box Office, definitely one of the most risky movies of all time because... In normal times, this is one of those movies that could have probably made like $2 billion. You know what I mean? Fucking A. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This movie would have made a fuck ton of money. If Black Panther could make $2 billion, then this could probably make $2 billion with them tying in old fans and bringing back Toby and just villains that people really love from Spider-Man lore and the actors too. Then this is their this is literally Sony's endgame. <laughs> this is going to be their biggest movie. So... Fuck, I'm going to see it. But if it makes a billion, I'd be really impressed even with a billion, to be honest. Dude, have you guys seen any memes yet where they've edited Toby into the fucking trailer? Mm-mm. No. <laughs> Man, maybe I should make that. It'd be kind of funny. Just randomly? or Okay, but doing the Spider-Man 3 walk down the sidewalk. <laughs> Dude, okay, I just... That'd be funny. I just searched it here. Check this shit out. This is, this is funny as fuck. Okay, hold on here. Look at this. This is, is pretty good. This is pretty good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? That is pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty I'll good. I kind of want to share that on our pod page because I can't do that on the main one because I'd be like, whoa, we fucking thought Toby was going to, you're going to show, you know what I mean? Like they'd be all <laughs> yeah. fucking dead ass serious and threaten to murder me. <laughs> pretty good. All right, fellas. Oh, I guess it's we have- so solid. I totally forgot. Let me like run through some of these questions. That's totally what I was meaning to bring up. <laughs> if there is any. I'm trying to think about how to market those screenshots. I think those would do really well since it's like right on topic with the fucking Dream Goblin meme. Put some dirt. I'm just looking through these comments. <laughs> Here's This is a good question. This is from Bencina. He is asking, is John Watts able to deal with this many villains in one movie? Because, you know, we're, we're saying there's like five, potentially five villains for sure teased. Probably going to be a Sinister Six. Probably going to be another villain somewhere teased in the movie. Well, he's, he's, his points he's bringing up is that like Spider-Man 3, 
the original Spider-Man 3, too many villains, didn't work. Amazing Spider-Man 2 had a lot of villains, didn't really work. It's not a bad, bad take. I mean, this one mm. is about to have like six, potentially seven. Fucking A. But if they're sort of just there for a second, and maybe they're not there the entire movie, right? It's sort of like you're dealing with these fuckers showing up into your universe. If he's trying to maintain this universe, but then all these random villains keep coming into it and dealing with them sort of one by one, that could be cool. And also, I feel like the problem with Spider-Man 3 and Amazing Spider-Man 2 were some of the villains were just genuinely not that great of characters. Yeah, bro. But did you like the lizard guy? They're for sure bringing him back. That was kind of mid. In Amazing Spider-Man 2, or the original Amazing Spider-Man. He was Green Goblin, but a lizard. He was right. You know, but his, his, okay, he was good, but his end plan was fucking stupid. I don't even remember that, but I just remember him not being the one. I was like, well, Doc Ock, way better villain than this fool. Green Goblin, way better villain than this fool. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I will, I, will, I will agree with that. The lizard's not bad, though. The lizard's not bad. Word. But my, my whole point was they just have to balance the characters better than those movies did. Because we can we see movies where there's a lot of villains that do work, too. Endgame, Infinity War. But Infinity War, there was like the, there was one villain. Those guys were all minions. They don't, I don't know. I guess that's true. true. They had the interaction. 